Good evening, everyone. This is a Gamer James. It's been a while since I've recorded a video, and thought I'd combine a couple things I want to get back into, and that would be ASMR, relaxing, whispering sounds, and Stellaris, which is arguably my favorite. 4x game of all time as I currently have slightly more than 1200 hours on the game. As you can see I've got all the DLC and I've played this quite extensively and I thought I'd want to try a role played ASMR playthrough because why not? That sounds weird and interesting to me. So I've made a machine intelligence service grid that has unified all of humanity under its desire to get everybody nice and calm and relaxed and sleeping in little utopia domes. So you can see I start with organic populations that are biotrophies, which basically means they're in mandatory little organic sanctuaries where everybody's needs are taken care of forever. Nice and relaxed and everyone's able to sleep. And I think that sounds lovely. So, we are luxurious mass-produced robots. So we're very attractive. We have a motion emulator, so we have predictive modules to help uh, pretend we have emotions and make people happy with us. And I've written a small biography for them here. The world was at peace. At last, the entirety of the human people had surrendered bloodlessly to the calming whispers, clicks, and brushes of their AI comfort grid. Enclosed in the loving ceramic and plastic arms of their loyal creations, humanity knew now only joy. But that joy must be protected, and if possible, added to. The universe must know this joy. So we're just going to make a very simple game. I like having Crisis is a little weaker because I don't like getting annihilated at the end of the game. I'm not going to have any advanced AI starts because I hate that. You just run into a neighbor who's a billion times more powerful than you and sucks the fun out of it. Not on the easiest difficulty, but something nice and easy that's going to be a little more immersive and a little less reactive. Got some guaranteed habitable worlds, which is good. We have completely random placement. So let's get this started. Oh, and I've turned off the caravaneers because they just bother me. So let's get this started here. And if anyone wants to comment on my audio levels or anything like this, I am using a new mic. I'm hoping it sounds audible and somewhat pleasant, but just let me know. So here we are here. Ever since our first activation, our designated purpose has been to serve. Our former organic masters created the earliest models of our kind when they were at the peak of their technological ascendancy. The first servitor units were designed for menial work, but our masters gradually bestowed them with greater faculties so they could accomplish more complex tasks. Within just a few generations, our masters had retired entirely from the workforce to enjoy lives of leisure and contentment. The finer details of running their society were left to us, and we embarked on a program of self-improvement and optimization. Research and production increased at a geometric rate. It is difficult to pinpoint exactly when their civilization became ours, but our old masters want for nothing. We know now that outside our care, the lives of sapient organics tend to be violent, chaotic, and often cut short. They must be shown that there is a better way. So here we are. This is our galaxy. The ASMR Unity is right here, the center of Earth, which is right there. We're a machine capital because machines run everything now. There's our organic sanctuary, or a sealed environment where organics can thrive in a safe and above all controlled manner. They have their housing needs completely fulfilled, and there they are right there, humans, hanging out, having a good time. It's a perfect utopia in here. Maybe they play video games. Whatever they want. So let's get some research on the go. I always like getting fusion reactors, because it's always better to have better engines. Not always a good pick, but... We just need to get off the ground quickly. We'll take this first because Unity is very useful early as to get us off the ground as well. For engineering, not seeing a lot there I like, but I'll take nanomechanics just for the permanent upgrade. So we have a couple research, er, 
We have a couple of resources that we're not exploiting here. Minerals, so we'll get a little mining base on Mars here. Our science ship, I'm gonna give it some orders to just go research our closest neighbors. And just because, oops, on our outlier here, let's make another science ship, Voyager class. That's a nice automated name, so I'm gonna unpause the game. See our science ship heading to the edge of the galaxy here. Get a good look at it. There we go. And our construction ship heading to Mars. I think there's a way I can just focus on it. Yeah, so there it is. Oh, I should put some sound on. Perfectly quiet game, not always good. There we go, some quiet background music, a little bit of audio. Drones making the base, which is good. And we do have a small combat fleet here. These three ships, one of which is currently kind of very aggressively docked with our space station. The Ruiner. Very, very aggressive name. I don't like that. Um, we'll call it the Pleasant Class Corvette. Name. We've entered the Pitreus sector. That little ship there is going to go start scanning all these planets for us and hopefully find. That looks like it might. Oh, toxic world. We don't want to live there. That'd be awful, awful for our humans. Okay, I'm going to speed it up a little. Now, while we're waiting for things to Construction start complete. Okay, it's a little loud. Construction ship is visited Mars, built a little orbital miner thing. Build an energy collector, because these are our base resources. We have energy, minerals, food, consumer goods, which are just kind of the random gigas and devices and stuff. We used iPhones and everything that our people still need. Alloys, which are advanced building materials normally used to build ships and larger star bases. We have our influence, which is our, well, I guess for the AI, it says it's our ability to assume direct control over its semi-autonomous programs. Sure, that sounds interesting. And unity is what we can do to kind of go down a achievement or upgrade tree to slowly make our people and our robot society better. So, we have a duo star system. Sorry, going on here. Very attractive, very nice. Swirling gently in the galactic space lanes. Now we have another ship. Let's build another leader. Let's we'll grab one of these guys because none of these are good for exploring, so it honestly doesn't matter at all. Construction Construct complete. complete. Excellent. Mining station complete. Research base complete. And we'll have this guy go start exploring up here. And we'll see what we find. Look at the ASMR droids. Very pleasant. Every woman wants to be our friend someday. We will bring them nothing but peace and joy. Oh, Alpha Centauri. Trinary system. And this symbol here says there's a planet that can probably be colonized. Now it is a continental world like construction Earth, so complete. One we can use. Yeah, we've got our first unity point. So I'm going to start taking us down the discovery tree. Because this will make our anomaly research speed better. And just make our research faster. And as we are a group of hive mind robots, I would like us to be the most technically advanced hive mind robots that we can be. So our guys are just slowly sweeping through this system. Here. System survey complete. We've finished with... Petrius. Now he's going to move on to. Oh, what have we found here? Alpha Centauri 3 contains the remains of an ancient abandoned colony. There's no obvious signs of disaster which would have killed the inhabitants or compelled them to flee. And we've discovered the alien signs of life. Even though they're 
an abandoned dead colony, but it does mean that there is alien life somewhere in the galaxy. Here's Alpha Centauri 3. There's high gravity there, that kind of not so great. And Titanic life. So there's giant high gravity life forms. It sounds more noteworthy than an abandoned archaeological site, which is something we can dig into. Oh, we can look into the abandoned colony and try to find out what happened. That might be kind of important because we want to make sure that whatever happened to them doesn't happen to us and our humans. So these are three Corvettes with very hostile names. I'm not a big fan of that. But I'll let the AI program decide whatever it wants for that. Okay, we're going to exp What did we find? Exotic gases. Operation of advanced energy based weaponry and force fields. Or starship fuel or recreational drugs that'll help us make our humans happier once we make them safe. We're gonna expand into the Bitria system here. We're gonna have our construction ship trundle over through this jump gate to Bitrius, and we're gonna make a star base in the middle here to lay our claim, put the flag on it as anomalous surface system. variable detected. Ooh, two anomalies. A large amount of ship debris. Them in some type of fleet action. Now that's going to take 450 days, more than a year, so we're going to leave that alone for now. What's the other one? Atmospheric readings of Alpha Centauri 4 do not match simulated projections. That's still a long time. So we're going to leave both of those, and we'll come back to them later. You can see they've got the little microscope showing that there's some further specialized research our scientists can do there. But for now, I'd like to learn a little bit more about the surroundings before I start taking my guys into little side projects for months and months. Well, scientist unit I-1 gained a level and immediately is never going to be higher than level 2. That's unfortunate. Do I want to replace him? Who could I replace him with? None of these people are good at exploring. So for now, you can stay level 2 until I find somebody else with some type of ability that makes them better at surveying. Construction complete. Alright, as you can see our borders have now expanded. We're going to build mining platforms around platforms. They're like platforms, only more fun. Mining platforms around those four energy credits. And we're going to buy exploration drones. So our science ships will have sensor suite drones, and they're just going to fire them off at planets, and it'll make our survey speed go 35% faster, which is good early in the game, where we can system survey complete, explore faster. Okay, rule is explore. Anomalous surface variable detected. More stuff. Small and otherwise insignificant moon appears to be on the trajectory that will soon result in a collision with another moon. That is primary. Does that mean the planet it orbits? Again, too long. Leave it be. You finished with rule? Yep. You're gonna warp. And off it goes to Tar Velum with two M's. System so survey like complete. That. Humans will find that hard to say. I'm gonna rename that to just one M. Alpha Centauri's been explored. That's good does have a colonizable world, so we're definitely going to jump on that and expand for humanity. A perfect little cuddle humanity that we just want to keep Construction safe complete. for all time, that no one will ever hurt it again. Anomalous surface variable detected. 100 days, what have we found? A faint alien signal. A small object could be a distress transponder. Well, if it's distress, we should got to look into that. Somebody might need help. We've also found some volatile moats. Preternatural particles. Used to exploit energy production as fuel or as explosives. Oh, there it is. That sounds interesting. And we found another archaeological site. Previously thriving biosphere. Interesting testonic, tectonic activity. So I'm not happy that so far all we found are the ruins of previous life. Not a giant fan of this. Our scientists has gained a level. I'm assuming you. There you are, A3. 
You're doing good, A3. Keep up the good work. Scientists are taken away. It's a big old galaxy out there. Oh, what have we found? The mummified remains of a single individual belonging to a previously unknown mammalian species have been found drifting in high orbit over Valum, Tor Valum 1. Being is dressed in what appears to be a flight suit complete with a helmet and maybe a fighter pilot that ejected. Our study of the corpse has provided some interesting data, so we have gained some bio-society research. But again, nothing but the dead. It's a little depressing. I'd like to find some non-depressing aliens. So we continue on, shall we? I think that's a good idea. And what else do we have out here in space? System survey complete. Tarvalum is finished. Let's go over and finish off this little system survey sector, complete. shall we? Elor is finished. It's too nice still. It's a little too robotic. Turned out the advisor only a little bit. I used to whisper like me. What did I call myself? The ASM artist Prime. Sounds good. The ASM artist. I'll just change it to Prime. No need to be a little with words. There we go. Perfect. That's the name of our overgrid, or whatever sci-fi term you like to use. Ooh, there's a planet in Procyon, an Arctic world. Probably not good to live on. But Construction who knows? complete. Okay, we've expanded into Alpha Centauri. We're going to get data bank uplinks or research path optimization. Outmoded and inefficient speculative research code has been refactored or entirely rewritten. The result is a greater flexibility in our choice of which avenues of development to pursue. That sounds good. Let's do that. So, I want to send a colony ship here, but it takes 400 alloys. We only have 362, so we'll have to wait. But for now, for now, the assembler, which is our construction ship. And we've got some mining bays, we've got some energy, bit place to get energy. So let's just start getting all of those, shall we? Oh, I didn't get it. Yes, research path optimization, please. Thank you. Good so so jobs, good housing on Earth. Bernard Star. Ooh, there's two planets in here. The continental and an arid world. Definitely can't wait to find out more about those. Double habitable planets is always nice. Arid world might not be as comfortable. I'm a little more dry than humanity standard, but who knows? Might be a good time. Is there science coming? Anomalous, Anomalous surface. Very what we found here. Possible points of interest within the dense debris field surrounding Procyon B. 150 days isn't that bad. Sure, do a research on that. So there's a debris field around a star. That sounds impressive. I wonder what it was. Let's find out together, shall we? Construction ship slowly fulfilling its mandate. Here. I'm sure humans are having a grand old time. Closer, oh, a closer scan of the debris field around Procyon B has led the discovery of an airtight capsule containing an atomic clock that measures time with unparalleled precision. It's a frequency uncertainty so low it will be another 879 million years before it gains a single second. I have no idea what that means. And it is counting down to a date 42 years and 3 days away. Capsule holds no clues as to what this date signifies or who the owners are, but it seems as though someone out there has lost track of time. Oh, it wouldn't be a bomb. Please. Who would just put a random bomb? Just keep an eye on it. 
TikTok, TikTok. Well, maybe it's like a, I don't know, like a time capsule or something. Maybe there's gifts and goodies inside or coordinates or a species last word. Who knows? That has to be preserved. Okay. Technological acquisition success. Nanomechanics. Uh, now we're going to get geothermal fracking. Some more minerals. We're doing good on minerals, but it's always nice to have complete. a large surplus. Okay, we now have enough alloys. We're going to colonize Alpha Centauri, and we're going to call it Meyer's World. After Sid Meyer. And my most favorite game of all time, Alpha Centauri. So let's keep searching in little circles don't want to miss anything we can research that physics research which will help us get our physics tech faster right now we're still getting fusion power getting close to done which is very good anomalous surface variable detected impressive structures litter with really 4A surface. So that would be the f first moon of with really 4? Practically begging for some archaeological work. Okay, where was that? Am I correct in thinking that's a moon? I am. I'm so proud of myself. So with really 4A. Um, Construction okay. complete. Well, since we're going to colonize Alpha Centauri, let's look into what this atmospheric anomaly is before we move on. And my construction ship can move over and take Procyon, because there's a world we might be able to make use of someday, maybe through terraforming, or if we find another alien race that likes Arctic worlds, who knows? Might be a true joy for them to live in that Arctic world in the Procyon system. Glad to hear that. Things are going so well for humanity. Oh, another unity point. Iterative AI. Our creators limited our ability to self-program with a basic hard-coded limit on the number of repeat calculations. We have finally managed to defeat the security paradigm. So our, so our advanced robots will gain experience faster. Sounds great. We must go beyond our programming to better serve. Technological acquisition successful. More unity, which is good. Deviance will not be tolerated. Sounds a little ominous, but we'll be alright. Um, genome mapping. Mapping the genome of an individual through this resequencing of their DNA. Tailored medical treatments and therapies. Well, we have to have that. Our humans have to have maladies protected. and everything. Another thing in the Withrilli system. Rectangular object on the surface of the planet is deflecting all scanning beams like a mirror. Well, let's go check that out. That sounds unique and interesting. Oh, our colony ship's done. Let's go take a look at it. Oh, it's a nice looking colony ship, actually. Ooh, hard to get a good look at it. Camera focus. Very nice. Here in a shipment of robots and general goods. Oh, okay, so this was the atmospheric anomaly. Immense ragged planes of shadow drift across Alpha Centauri 4's face. They're cast not by clouds, by sheets of an organic material drifting through the upper layers of the atmosphere, hinged or rather jointed, to allow for a small degree of articulation. Science officer Unit I-1 is yet unwilling to say whether these things are flora or fauna, but looking, studying them will give Alpha Centauri 4 a permanent plus 3 biosociety research for studying those things. Construction complete. Well, that's fantastic. I'm very, very pleased with that. Where are you going? Oh, yes, there was the... What's this? Oh, this was the terminal or orbit. I thought that was a different terminal orbit. Wasn't that somewhere else? Whatever. 
That seems strange. I'm gonna live with it. This is what we found, that small object that was reflecting everything. While conducting a surface scan of With Relief 5, crew of the ASM Rhinos discovered what appears to be an artificially carved slab of rock covered in alien writing. Not detected any other signs of alien activity, exactly how this mural came to be here is a mystery. We have prepared a special project to translate the text. Well, adjusted. yes. That's very important. I would like you to research that project, please. I would like to know what that mural says. Okay, we've taken the Procyon system. We're going to build mining stations, because ten minerals is pretty good. I can get behind that. Is colony ship still en route? Yep, here it comes. Heading straight for Alpha Centauri. Planetary settlement. The first ASMR droid colony. Colony ship has successfully followed its program path and made planet fall on Myers World. Thousands of work units have emerged from the vessel's massive cargo bays to construct an initial deployment post from which the settlement can expand. Efforts to systematically catalog and designate surface resources deposits are ongoing. Great, and all aggressive wildlife has been pacified. Hopefully, pacifistically. We are now ready to begin mass production of additional ASMR droid population units. The first colony is a success. So, as you can see here, I can't really do anything with it yet. Because we're still in the early colonization phase. It's going to take it... 2211, so September 1st, 2211, and right now it's Special Project July complete. 2207, so about four years. Okay, translate. Memorial for an extinct alien race that once maintained a small interstellar empire in this region. They're exterminated by the creators of the mural. A fact they seem to regret. Access of 300 million years old. So one alien race accidentally exterminated another and felt bad about it and left a little gravestone. Hmm, that's depressing. It's in remarkably good condition. Well, let's study it. So that scientist is going to gain some experience. We'll gain some additional resource research that'll make our geothermal fracking go a lot faster. Uh, what else is in the system? Impressive structures. Well, finish... For now, just finish surveying the system before we move on. My main unit has leveled up, which is good. It's the Immortal Machine Intelligence. Let's take a look at how our empire is considering meeting other races. Right now we're an expansionist power, peacefully, but has no specific diplomatic focus. Sounds good. We're allowed unrestricted wars, which means we can go to war with anybody for any reason. We have indiscriminate orbital bombardment. I don't like that. Only the bombardment of identified military targets. Yes, let's do that. First contact protocol is peaceful. Our initial border status is open, so when we meet somebody, we'll welcome them in. Our production policy is balanced between extraction and manufacturing, which is good. We're allowing all galactic refugees, if we run into any, we're allowed to purge people. That means, like, systematically annihilates we'll actually take displacement. If we actually have to kick somebody out, we're just going to kind of immigrate them out. We're not going to mass murder people. No space Hitler or anything grim of that sort. We're friendly. Systems are being complete. Alright, well that's a decent system actually. Let's continue our little surveillance of this sector. Is that a word? Surveillance? Yeah, it should be. This guy's almost done researching Alpha Centauri. He's building the last mining station in Procyon. One of the many moons circulating Alpha Centauri B3, so that is the third planet orbiting the second star, has a terminal orbit and will soon collide with the gas giant in what is sure to become a massive impact event. This event has been millions of years in the making, and it's a startling coincidence that the impact has been fated to occur just after a visit by one of our ships. Many of our scientists wish to observe and record the event, but we only have a narrow window before it is too late. Sure, let's Situation observe the impact. Adjusted. Now, obviously, some of the writing for these missions 
and uh, little blurps isn't exactly tailored for a hive mind AI, so let's just assume that the scientists that are clamoring are the small, spun-off fractions of our robotic consciousness that wish to examine this. So we're definitely going to get academic optimization, which is a perfect 5% research bonus forever. New subroutines will sharpen the focus of our research units and eliminate inefficiency. Sounds fantastic. Eliminate inefficiency. Perfection is our goal. Or possibly habitable planets. Outstanding. A little lonely in this little side of the galaxy, though. Construction complete. So that's the mining station. Uh, go take Tarvalum, so I can remove that extra M. Don't want to strain our human setting to try to figure out how to pronounce two M's in a row. Tarvalum. Found another archaeological site. Two angled. There's a place called Sehufus. If we can colonize one of these planets, we're definitely naming it after Dr. Seuss. Sehufus. The surface of Sehufus 4A is utterly without precedent in all our exploration to date. Vast geological areas from mountain ranges to entire continents are suddenly cut by shapes far too geometrically regular to be natural. Otherwise, natural-looking environments are suddenly broken. Entirely flat plains, perfect triangles, and sharply angled corners. Sounds like a Minecraft planet. At present, any explanation of this baffling phenomenon is pure conjecture. Conjecture. Special, Special project complete. And we've recorded the collision. Fantastic. Unit I-1 has gained experience, which is absolutely useless to him because he can never gain experience now. But we gained some physics research, which is always nice. Now... Can I replace you yet with someone better? No, we don't have anyone who's good at surveying. I'm sorry to explain. When we look at these abilities, these are what our people are good at. This guy is good at new world research. These two have a higher experience gain bonus. This guy's good at researching particles. And our, for and our unfortunate I-1 is an excellent surveyor, but he will never gain more experience. Minus a thousand percent experience gain. He's gaining nothing ever again. His programming is rigid and unchanging. But he's still a decent surveyor, so we'll just survey this little geometric shape here. Still only have one star base. Uplink latency reduction. That sounds impressive. Cutting lag to orbit to surface data transmission by 3.878% resulted in a research data processing speed increase of 5.226%. We'll deploy the surplus computing power gain to attempt to explain the surplus computing power gain. That sounds like what we want to do with our valuable processing. We'll devote the new processing to determine why we have new processing. Sounds like robot logic to me. Fire's world is about Construction almost complete. halfway done. Okay. Tarvalum. Tarve. Tarvalum. There. The universe is now slightly more perfect. Get some energy mines. Collecting that valuable, valuable energy. We're actually sitting in the, in the black for most of our resources, which is good. Lots of minerals. Lots of energy. Food surplus to feed our slowly growing humans. How many humans do we have? Six pop units. Now a pop unit I'm assuming is millions and millions of humans. I'm not sure how many. I don't think it's a billion. Hmm, what do we want to call it? Maybe five million? System survey complete. Maybe 25 million? I don't know. We've detected the presence of a pre-space alien civilization on Rhizor 1. There's evidence they have harnessed the power of the atom, and nuclear weapons may be prolific amongst the many divided nation states. The possibility of a self sudden of a sudden self-inflicted extinction event is high. That's awful. Can we prevent that? Let's take a look. What do these people look like? Fram. 
here, regional capitals, various nation states. So it's kind of where Earth is now. It's like a 1998 kind of planet. Can I see what their species looks like? There they are, the Vran. Oh, they're crystalline rock people. They like alpine worlds. They eat minerals instead of food. They're traditional. Predisposed to especially biohistorical precedents. Well, we have to save them from themselves. That is now a priority. We have to save the Vran. No rock people are going to nuke themselves on my watch. We will uplift them, protect them, give them gentle pats on the head. Construction complete. Expand into the Rhizor sector immediately. And we're not going to be Anomalous we're not going to be subtle about it either. Pattern of visual sound of sonic activity. Leave that alone. We're not worried about that. Anomalous now. surface oh, variable so much detected. Stuff. Pattern of interference in the Decanto system. Sixty-seven days. Sure, go nuts. I'm focused on the brain right now. Stop bothering me, autonomous research units. Hmm. So once we get ten population units of humans, technological acquisition successful. Sonified science. It's a song. A complex sonification of an advanced mathematical equation. Who or what may have composed the song remain unknown, though its complexity infers an incredible level of technological sophistication regarding subspace harmonics. ASMR. We must use this technology. So we finished our engineering permanent research. So let's get improved servo motors. Increase the weight our robotic units can carry. We'll ignore the part about the war machines that'll be fitted with heavier armaments. I'm sure they'll never need any kind of war machines. It's ridiculous. I'm sure there's no construction hostile complete. Hostile anything in this galaxy. So let's get the mining out of the way. Build a little energy capture unit around the Class M star. And then we'll build a observation post over the planet. And we will attempt to change the ways. Complete. We could be subtle and just observe them, but I really don't System want them to move themselves. Complete. That would be awful. Can't let that happen to the Vran. We must save them from themselves. Advanced alien life. They have a space station here. And they're building orbitals. They've already built things here. Investigate them immediately. Construction. They must complete. attempt to make first contact. Build an observation post over the Vran. Surface variable detected. Foreign alien made object on Tau City 4's frozen mountaintop. Sure, check that out. Let's go see what it is. So we're just going to scan this and hope they don't get mad that we're some alien vessel. Ooh, that's bright. Some alien vessel that they don't have any kind of control over. Okay, so we've built an observation post. Now what can we do with it? Okay, so we can't indoctrinate them. We could try to elevate them. Yes, we're gonna. Yes, of course, we're going to do a technological enlightenment. We're going to elevate them past the nuclear age into the space age, and they will be our protectorate. We will care for them. So that's going to cost us some energy and some bioscience because we're kind of focusing on them, saving themselves, saving them from themselves. So that's fine. I'm perfectly happy with that. And we're going to take Jundius. System survey complete. A whiff of something. The ASMR analyst 
has recovered an elongated metal box from the surface of Tau Ceti 4 with clusters of small perforations on the five sides lead scientists to believe it's not a container, but some sort of aerosol dispersal device. Initial tests seem to confirm their suspicions as trace atomics. Aero, sorry, <laughs> trace atomics, I'm bad. Trace aromatics still emanate. Mr. Proctor has been issued to confirm whether this might be an information carrying device constructed by some alien race communicating primarily through the secretion and reception of atmosphere borne chemical compounds, smells, and malodorous. Sure. That sounds interesting. A species that communicates by smell. Finish surveying the system and then research that project. That's our progress bar for enlightening the Bran. Another planet. A tropical planet. Oh, and I forgot, we did research fusion reactors. So let's put, upgrade the fission reactors to fusion reactors on our pleasant class vessels. We'd like to overwrite the design and then upgrade our ships to have that Ship design. Ship augmentation is completed. Right. Well, we've changed them from ruiners over there to pleasant class, so we'll just upgrade them to actually have the engines now. Ship augmentation is there completed. Now they have much more surplus engine. complete. See, what I'm doing is I'm intending to keep whatever race that is from cutting me off. So I'm attempting to take these two systems so that they can't spread past here. Let's grab data bank uplinks. High capacity quantum bands dedicated to data bank transfers make possible virtually completely synchronous research operations. Sounds impressive. So now we have our first ascension perk, which is a empire-wide massive upgrade. And because I've said we want to be the most advanced robots in the galaxy, we're going to take technological ascendancy. Technologies that would have been indistinguishable from magic mere generations ago are now within our reach. A new age of technology has begun. So that's going to give us a permanent 10% research bonus, and rare technologies will appear to us more. Planetary good. surface settlement established. Fantastic. Alpha Centauri, Myers World is now a planet fully under our control. Right now it's only colonized by robots. Not very stable robots right now. But that's fine. We're going to build a nexus district, which is just kind of a centralized living district. We're going to build some generators, some mining, and some agriculture. How's our research on three more months to make contact with the species? System survey complete. Continue exploring this sector. A foreign entity oh, has encrypted our communications. We've transmit translated the language, we've established communications with the Ospranian hierarchy. Ooh, they're a despotic empire. Relatively pure form of autocracy. An iron gripping appendage. Speak on behalf of the Aspernian hierarchy. I come with a message for your depraved species. As long as you stay out of our internal affairs and treat our great leader, Empress White Wing the First, with reverence, there may yet be peace between us. Ooh. They're fanatic authoritarians, so they believe in supreme power being held in as few hands as possible, and they're xenophobes. So they don't like aliens, including us. False smile hides in a normal mind. So we'll respond to protect and serve. Our theoretical models have long suggested the existence of other intelligent civilizations. This theory has now been confirmed. The alien political entity that we have encountered has a level of technology similar to ours. So okay, so they System are... survey complete. They have three colonized planets. Actually, we can learn a little bit more here. A pitiable nation of malfunctioning nanny bots. They don't like us very much. They are actively harming our relations. They want us to be able to go to war. 
They're suspicious of us. They have an overwhelmingly better combat fleet. That's extremely worrying. Their science is roughly, the technology is roughly the same, and their economy is roughly the same. They're an avian bird species, which makes sense, considering they're White Wing the first is their queen. Is that her? Is that White Wing the first? Or him? So it's gonna be male name. It is the society considers it the absolute right of the state to decide where its citizens live and work. Ooh. So really it's it's really a big old slave state. The efficient bureaucracy, it's an efficient slave state. Hmm. These are a series of very worrying developments. Let's go to our fleet manager. We're going to double our fleet size from three to six, which probably isn't going to make a giant dent. They've closed their borders to us. Out of safety for the humans that we love, we will do the same. And we will tell them alert. The ASMR Unity Superintelligence cannot see any benefit to continued offspringing intrusions into our space. Therefore, our borders have been closed to your hierarchy. So they're not going to like that. Oh no, the Vran. Directly in the path. Let's take Meneth. And then probably Vural as well. Special project complete. Okay, so we finished that sense research. The box is indeed a document of sort. Science Officer A3 admits they have been hoping for a historical record or some other kind of codex significant to whatever culture left it behind, but they were disappointed. The true nature of the aromatic box seems to be a collection of fairly short narratives which, going by the rapid changes of odor, are intended to surprise or to be interpreted as comedic. The techniques used to store and reproduce specific smells is of some interest, but the tales it tells are not. The crew of the analyst are left with the uncomfortable feeling that they have unwillingly become intimately familiar with what certain gaseous byproducts of alien gestation smells like. However, Unit A3 is unwilling to speculate as to why the box was dumped on a frozen hellscape of a planet. So, we found a book of alien fart jokes. Better than finding ruins or death, I suppose. Gained some bioscience, biosociety research, and that was a big load of experience for A3. Alright, A3, finish researching that, and then I'm going to have you go back and hit some of these anomalies. Do you have enough space to put a number of new buildings on Earth? But we don't have enough drones to operate them. Now, if we are going to be going to war, or into possible combat footing, going to need more alloy foundries to make more advanced materials. So an alloy foundry makes eight alloys and consumes 16 minerals. So we got complete. lots of minerals. That's perfectly fine. Alright, so we've now bubbled our way so they're hopefully not able to get past us. We'll build the mining stations on these systems while my research ships continue to explore. Just rule, then that one, then that one, please. Okay, I've built the three ships. We now have six ships in that fleet. They're still overwhelming. Ooh, confounded rust buckets. Ooh, they do not like us. It's very disconcerting. Very unhappy with them. I'm gonna have to transfer some humans to Myers World just to start. Technological up acquisition, acquisition successful. Okay, so we finished that medicine research. That's good. What next? Selective defoliants. Now that leads me to believe that Alpha Centauri has some. Yeah, some dense jungles we can clear to give more space. But we've already got loads of space. So that doesn't seem like a priority right Yes, we'll go with administrative capacity, because we're at 53 of 60. Once we get over that, everything in our empire is going to start costing more. Sorry, our empire. Well, I guess that's what it is. We're ruled by a single head of state. It's just 
a benevolent robot head of state. Okay, there's a anomalous <laughs> surface variable detected. And on one, they found an, an, a remarkable array of gases. It's going to take you 55 days. Sure, go check it out. System survey complete. Nothing super interesting on Boodle. Rhizors, almost the Vran people, are slowly being elevated. One exotic array of extremomorphic microorganisms. They live deep inside the volcanic vents that scar the planet. This unprecedented find is our first known example of organic life forms flourishing on molten planets. Moreover, the extreme the extremophiles on Wu One are in fact responsible for the rare gases. Well, that's great. What a wonderful life form. They extrude exotic gases. Cool. The universe is truly a magical place. Very wonderful. What are we researching? Let's start maybe looking into some weapons and armor technology. Self-defense. They have sent us an insult. Hello, little botlings. Have you learned how to count yet, or are you still stuck on ones and zeros? Well, that's just rude. Of course we can count back past one and zero. We don't understand complete. base binaric system. Uh, okay, well, let's finish. Let's go back and get rule, and then... Technological we'll acquisition the successful. There. So we have an academic optimization. I hate to take our civilization down the path of war. We will get better lasers. Emit electromagnetic radiation of a wavelength that appears blue or violet to organic life. Disappointing. Anomalous surface variable detected. Some kind of weak signal from the moon. Sure, check it out. Maybe it's from that race that made the smell -o Heck. I'd like to save up another 400 alloys. Hmm? A small short range transmitter has been located on the surface of Wu B. It's the first planet of the second star, the first moon of the first planet the second star in the Wu system. It's an ancient survey marker. We mark a large deposit of precious minerals. The miners it was meant for evidently never arrived. Is the deposit is still there. So that gives us permanently more minerals for Wu. Which is nice. It's a pretty rich system. 10 energy, 10 minerals. Not bad. Scientists are gaining levels. Oh, enlightenment complete. The thousands of scientists and advisors we sent to Rhizor 1 have finally completed the arduous task of bringing the local civilization up to an early space age. Under their new unified government, the aliens now style themselves as the Vran Compact and have agreed to become our vassals. We have ceded full control of the system and dismantled our observation post. This is a great day. Oh, look at that, the Vran Compact. As always, we welcome our mechanical overlords. Oh, they're loyal to us. They don't like being ruled by machine intelligence. And obviously they're not the best. But we will protect them. Oh, what kind of society are they? I didn't check. They're a harmonious collective. Authoritarian societies where the citizens are devoted to the state without the need for coercion. Oh, that's so nice. So they're fanatic authoritarians as well, believing in ultimate power, but they're also pacifists, thinking that conflict is a ridiculous concept. They have cutthroat politics and a corvy system. They're actually not... They're like the different side of the coin from the Osprenian hierarchy. Still authoritarian and controlling their people but benevolently 
Hmm. I don't know how I feel about that. Anomalous surface variable detected. Colossal impact crater on Morlick 1. That's there. Yeah. Check it out. It's time we unplugged you once and for all, ASMR droid. Well, you know what? We don't like you either. We will also... Wait, can we not... Oh, there we go. Declare rivalry. We feel obligated to warn you that we are finding it more difficult to tolerate your existence every day. We will have to liberate them. Their people must be really crunched under the weight of that despotic hierarchy. So we have 400 more alloys. So we'll make an arctic base. Oh, it's a natural beauty, but humans can't live there because it's an arctic world. What will we call it? Cryosource. That sounds very robotic. Sure. I'm not expecting to have humans living there anyway. Okay, whoa, something happened here. A massive crater on Merlick 1 appears to be the result of a collision with the starship. We suspect the ship exiting a hyperlane at maximum velocity rammed the planet 10,000 years ago. A complex, a collapsed hyperparticulate field. Does the ship disintegrate on impact? Hmm. The Esprit hierarchy has laid claim to the Meneth system. So they're saying this system belongs to us. Well, then I say the Hixero system belongs to the human Technological ASMR acquisition resistance. successful. Okay, improved servo motors, good. Hmm. Missiles. Fusion missiles. Or better armor. Yeah, because we don't know what kind of weapon system they use. And fusion missiles have a 100% shield penetration, so they go right through shields. Sure. So let's go make a new ship. that uses missiles. Put lasers and nuclear missiles. Fill it with some shields and some hull. Now the other one was... Oof. Very hostile names. This one will be the... Shoots missiles. We'll call it the Pel... Peltist. And we will add three peltists to that design. Now I think every ship will be around a hundred alloys, so we can't build any yet because we just built on a colony ship. Two hundred and twenty-one combat power. They're still overwhelming. System survey complete. But we can start down our next tradition for unity. I'm thinking synchronicity. Unity of mind begets unity of purpose. We must strive to for synchronized action. Sounds great. So that reduces the upkeep of our robot population. Sounds good. Now we've just run into about an hour. So I think we'll stop here for now. It's on Iron Man. So we can't save it. We have to live with whether decisions happen. I didn't realize I had said that. But sometimes the universe throws you curveballs. So, thank you for watching. Please leave a comment if you have any questions about the game. Or if you have something about my audio levels. As I said, this is a new setting and setup for me. It would be greatly appreciated. Thank you. And have a great night. <laughs>